Hi, I'm Dustin Newman with Hilltop Disposal. In this video, I'm going to go over the basics of disposal wells. The very bare bones of it, I'm going to go through the drilling process which will help explain how a disposal well is put together. Um, so, first of all, on the whiteboard behind me here, I've got ground level, uh, base of ground water, top of your disposal zone, and the base of your disposal zone. So when you first drill, you drill a hole, from ground level through the base of your groundwater. Now your groundwater is always going to be near surface and it's very important you put extra, extra protection across it. And the reason is that's where all your fresh water is and if you have any offsetting landowners, your farmers, your acreage owners, anyone like that, um, they are going to use that fresh water close to surface. Now if you damage, uh, if you contaminate that water and they end up using it, obviously you're going to you're going to have some neighbors that aren't too happy with you. So putting extra, extra protection in place is key. So what you do is you run a casing string, uh, your surface casing across those and cement it into place. And once your surface casing's there, you're going to drill out down to your disposal zone. and then run another casing string. Now, in this case, I'm only gonna have one production casing. Um, I'm gonna assume that your disposal zone is fairly close to surface. Uh, if your zone is really deep, you're gonna to have to run more than one casing string. Uh, for this uh, example, I'm just gonna run one casing string though. One production casing. So you run your case, uh, casing string down, and then you're gonna cement it into place. And then finally, you're going to drill out <clears throat> through your disposal zone. And then once you have this here, uh, you're going to run a liner. Now what a liner is, is a piece of pipe with a liner hanger on top. With either holes or slots in it. And that allows you, when you're injecting your water, to go out into your formation. Now there's one more thing you're going to need before you start injecting, and that's uh, an injection string. Now an injection string is like a casing string, uh, except it has a packer on the bottom, and it's something you can pull and, uh, put into your well and also pull from your well. Your casing strings are cemented into place, so you can't remove them. Uh, so the reason why you run your injection string is to protect those casing strings. You can imagine if uh, you didn't have your injection string in there and you had some corrosive, uh, your water corroded your casing at all. Well, if you get a hole in your casing, you're kind of screwed and it would be a real huge problem over time. Whereas if you got an injection string and you're injecting down your injection string, your water's being injected, down your injection string and into your formation, if you corrode your injection string, no big deal. All you do is pull it out, run a new one. Now on the back side, in between your injection string and your casing string, you're going to run inhibited water. That does uh, protect your casing string from getting corroded, plus it allows you to pressure test the back side. So as soon as you fail a pressure test, what you're going to have to do is pull your injection string, run a new one, or fix the problem, whatever the problem is. So whether it's your injection string or the, sometimes your packer, the bottom will fail over time. Uh, you'll have to pull all that out, run something new, and that ensures that your casing string is always protected. So that's the very basics of a, of a normal disposal well. I'm going to show you a, a second variation of a disposal well that's kind of similar. This is called an open hole completion where you have the liner. Um, but there's another case that's a case hole completion and I'll draw that quickly as well. In this case, same thing. Drill the hole, run your surface casing, cement it into place. Drill out except this time you're going to drill all the way to TD, all the way to down below your disposal zone. And this time you're going to run your casing all the way through your disposal zone, from surface all the way down, and then you're going to cement everything into place. Now this is a little different because all of a sudden now your casing's all the way through your disposal zone and it's cemented top to bottom. 
you obviously can't inject into your disposal zone at this point. So you have to go in with perforating guns, explosive shape charges, and perforate holes in your casing into your formation. Now why would you run something like this, case hole versus open hole? Well, it really depends on the thickness. If you have a really thin zone, let's say it's five meters thick, doing an open hole completion is gonna cost a lot of money and it's way cheaper to just drill right to the bottom, uh, set your casing, cement it, and then perforate. If your zone is, let's say, 200 meters thick, well, perforating 200 meters is gonna cost a fortune. And it's way chimp, uh, simpler and cheaper to uh, run, uh, do an open hole completion and run the liner. And one last thing in, in this well, before I leave it, is you still have to run your injection string just like before to, to protect your casing. So that's how it would look. There's no liner or anything in the hole here. You've got a casing that's perforated, and but you've got your injection string protecting your casing so that you can inject water into your disposal zone. So those, that's the basics of a disposal well. In the rest of the videos, I'll get into, uh, into the topics in more detail, uh, drilling and completing, uh, stimulating, troubleshooting your disposal well. Uh, if you have any questions, my contact info is uh, listed below the video. Uh, 